Today we're going to experiment with growing giant custom molded blocks of mycelium. We wouldn't otherwise be able to grow parts this big unless we were using a system that allows oxygen to be pumped into the center of the part. Let's get started with this design experiment. We previously attempted to grow a giant chair by using a gray bin as our form and stuffing the mycelium material around it. While it may look like a chair, we found for inconsistent growth. This is because our growth form did not allow for airflow to go through it and it caused heat to build up, which caused for inconsistent growth. Does it function as a chair? It's, it's working. So we made a new growth form, made by fitting cardboard profiles together to make a 3D form. The spaces in the growth form allow for proper airflow. The cardboard edges were taped to make sure that no mycelium grew into it. No sewing upholstery was done by growing the fabric into the chair. So this piece is going to fit in the bottom of the bin and it's going to create a little lip which then we will take the entire block of grown mycelium out of with the little lip and fit it onto a wooden chair base. Um, so you can see here that one side is uh, uncovered and the other has duct tape on it. We do that so that um, this porous wood material uh, won't allow the mycelium to grow into it. So we're going to sterilize it now with uh, some isopropyl alcohol, wearing the proper personal protection, gloves, glasses, and uh, we're going to sterilize it. Well, if this gets stuck in the bin, then I would be worried that the chair won't come out. The chair is not going to stick to this, right? It won't stick to it. Okay. That'll be okay. fun? Okay. I'm excited to see how it turns out. Uh, I think Grant's got a pretty darn good design here, and our material's been working really well. So, I hope so. So, this is the... Uh, positive of the chair. So this is where your butt's going to go. Um, and uh, so we have this fabric on it here so that as the mycelium grows, it will start to eat into the fabric and it will kind of upholster itself. We're going to sterilize it with uh, hydrogen peroxide um, to kill off anything that was growing on the fabric that might compete with the mycelium. This is the uh, this is the top of the chair. Um, it also has fabric on it. We're gonna grow into this fabric as well. We're spraying it with hydrogen peroxide. Right now, we're uh, filling around the chair form and uh, we're packing the material densely around the sides so that the fabric hugs around the shape of the cardboard structure underneath. taken out, we aim to gently remove it from the form to ensure our shape is safe. We bang the bin gently with hammers to encourage the part to move away from the form. Alright gentlemen, one, two, three. There it goes. Once 
lift out of the bin, you can see the fabric has an upholstered appearance as the result of filling my sewing material around the growth form. As the material is packed tight, it pushed the fabric between the voids in the cardboard growth form, creating this upholstered appearance. Next, we'll move our part into an incubation chamber, which is a moisture tight tent. This will encourage the part to get white and fluffy and further the growth through the fabric. Do this for two days. Once we take it out, we see inconsistent discoloration due to the mycelium feeling stressed out. This was not our intention. The grow time of nine days and incubation time of two days is designed for the import panels. However, this may be too long of a time to ensure an aesthetically pleasing white fluffy lounge chair. When the ABR team takes on a new type of product, they can optimize the process for that product. So guys, we made a chair. I think it went pretty well and I think that we know what to do next time and we can grow from this experience. But you can make your own version of this system to make large aerated parts at home. You can use an aquarium air pump and perforated tubing to distribute oxygen through your part. Place these tubes in your growth form and fill material around them. Attach them to your air pump and grow for at least four days. Results may vary. Happy experimenting. Thanks for watching.